Hello everybody, just another quick uh, impromptu video while I'm still getting everything settled here in my new place. Um, just so, thought I'd do a quick blurb on uh, this little interesting thing that I found inside of a piece of equipment that uh, I got to take apart. Um, this is what is called a lithium thionyl chloride battery. Um, it's an interesting chemistry. Uh, this is not a rechargeable battery, uh, but this, which is just the size of a double a battery has a 2.6 amp hour uh, rating 2600 milliamp hours which is uh, incredible amount of power to have in a little double a battery like this uh, something about the chemistry of the lithium thionyl chloride uh, allows it to have the highest uh, energy density of any battery uh, currently available uh, with the disadvantage that they are not rechargeable they're also really neat uh, because these particular batteries can operate up to minus 60 degrees Celsius all the way up to 80 degrees Celsius uh, without an appreciable loss of efficiency, um, which is why NASA actually uses these uh, in spacecraft. Um, the Pathfinder missions, uh, most notably, was actually powered by lithium thionyl chloride uh, batteries. Um, in fact, interestingly enough, this particular manufacturer of batteries actually makes batteries for the uh, uh, space purposes uh, for satellites and such. Um, there are some disadvantages. Uh, they will react rather violently to being shorted, um, and the chemicals that go in them are actually horrendously toxic. Uh, so that's um, some things that have to be considered. Um, they also have an odd voltage, uh, 3.6 volts, um, which is uh, a little lower than most of your standard lithium batteries, of course. <coughs> Pardon me. Most, you know, double A's, you'll, you'll be having a, a voltage of 1.5 volts. And they'll only have about uh, 800 to maybe 1,000 milliamp hours of uh, charge in them. So... Yeah, I just thought I'd share that interesting thing. Um, you'll see on this one, it actually has a, a resistor here. Uh, let's bring that in a little bit closer. So that's red, violet, black, black, which is going to be a four, or two, seven, zero, and then a zero multiplier. So that's a 270 ohm resistor, which is probably just there in place to act as a, uh, a fuse, actually because the massive pulse of current that would cause from this uh, battery being shorted would just cause that resistor to burn up. So just a little interesting bleb there about uh, a very interesting and also astonishingly expensive battery. This battery costs about $18. Uh, so I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this quick little blurb. Uh, I'm really, really hoping to soon have... Uh, some proper content coming up. I've got a bunch on my laptop just needs to be edited uh, So hopefully we'll be getting some of those videos up soon. Uh, I'm sorry for the delays I'm really hoping to get my channel active again. So thanks for watching and Leave some comments Any questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye